It's hard to remain calm or still while doing nothing to fix the situation or problems that surround us. As humans, we have a doing mentality. Meanwhile, God wants us to have a faith mentality. As Christians, we're God's baby, so we can relax fully in His arms knowing well that He will take good care of us. This is what God wants you to do. Believe Him and trust Him fully, and He will bring it to pass. The simple instruction that's been proven to be the hardest to follow is just to remain still or calm. However, it makes people just want to jump around more. However, as Christians, we must learn to follow the Word of God. The Word has instructed us to remain still while we leave all our life situation into God's hands and watch Him fulfill them. I know that as humans, we're so addicted to worrying, thinking, and wanting to do things by ourselves. If we're not thinking about how our children are doing in school, we're thinking about getting a new job. Other times, we're wondering how things could be better in our relationships or marriages. Meanwhile, God is just telling you to be still and trust in Him. As Christians, we need to trust God and trust His arms and love for us. He knows what's best for us, and so He'll bring it all into pass, and you'll watch and see that everything will indeed fall into place at the perfect time. Rather than overthinking and worrying always about what's coming next and how it'll happen, we can rather just trust in God and decide to enjoy our present life. Stop thinking so much. Remember that everything works out for good for those that love God. God will never disappoint you. Remain still and let your focus remain on Him, like when Peter kept looking at Jesus. Let your heart remain still and let it remain focused on God, not on all the disruptions and disturbances of the winds or storm. Keep still, focus all your trust on God and keep your heart restrained. Don't let doubts begin to disturb you. Don't listen to the voices of what-ifs. No. If you listen to those voices, you would sink just like Peter sank when he took his focus away from God. Keep still and you will receive, just like Peter, who was able to receive from God when he was still. You will receive your heart's desire from God, whatever it may be. God will grant it unto you. Continue to be still. Be patient, and you will get your desire. As far as you're still breathing, you can be happy and rest assured that there's nothing that's not achievable. However, you must learn to live life one day and one step at a time. Let God do His job over your life. If you see things in a positive type of light, then you'll be able to let go of those matters to God and watch Him work all of them out eventually in the end. Remain still. God has called you into a life of calmness. Let your speech remain positive. Keep confessing the things you want to see in your reality. And don't get angry, impatient, and edgy. Remember that every detail of your life is continually woven together to fit into God's perfect plan of bringing good into your life. For you are His lover, who has been called to fulfill His designed purpose. Romans 8 verse 28. This means that even situations you can't think about could work out your goodwill workbook for your good. Keep your heart and mind stayed on God, and you'll surely receive from Him. Don't try to use human wisdom to get your request all by yourself. Your human wisdom will fail you. He has called you to lean on Him while you remain still. Remember when Abraham and Sarah tried to use human wisdom? Eventually, what they did was that they produced another offspring who wasn't the seed of God's covenant with Abraham. Don't fall for the devil's deception. Don't think that you can do it on your own. Don't think that your patience is a waste. This is the devil's method of making you lose out on God's big package for you. Please keep still and don't be swayed away. Let your heart not fall into fear or doubt. God has commanded you not to fear. He has put you in a place of love. Perfect love casts out fear. God has called you His own, His child. He has given sonship to you. He is a good father, and like every good father, He gives good things to His children. He doesn't leave His children stuck somewhere where He can't help them. No, He rises and does something to change the situation for them. 
This thought should give you more confidence to rely on God's love for you and should cause you to remain still. Our God is capable of changing your life situation around for good. Whatever situation you're in presently, God has the ultimate power to change your life forever. God is that powerful one who does things that are even beyond our imagination. It's the same God that makes a way in the wilderness. This same God parted the wild, wide Red Sea. So be sure that he will give you what you desire. God will do it. Whatever it is that you desire or need him to do for you, he will do it. When God makes a promise, he always fulfills it. Remember that no word of God goes back to him empty or void. Isaiah 55 verse 11 says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Let words like this soak deep into your soul, so that you can remain still and calm on the power and promises of God toward you. My advice to you is that you should remain still. Psalm 37 verse 5 says, Give God the right to direct your life, and as you trust Him along the way, you'll find He pulled it off perfectly. Keep committing your ways unto the Lord and He will bring your requests to pass. He will bring to pass the very best good for you. He will do it for you. That thing you want God to do for you, He will do it for you. Keep praying about it. Keep trusting Him and He will do it. Commit this care, this need into God's hand. And don't come back to take it anymore. Don't doubt. Trust in God. Remain still and you will see Him bringing to pass all His plans for you. Perhaps you're in a situation where you need help to move to a new level. I want you to know that God can bring help for you. God has a divine plan for your life, and He will bring it to pass. He does things magnificently, and He'll make everything you need come to you. God will bring people your way that will lead you to a profit and help your life. You must recognize that God has a unique plan for your life, and He's committed to bringing the plan to pass. If you're in a place where you can't seem to move forward for one reason or another, you can rest assured that God will bring a helper along your way. He will bring in the required help you need to make sure that your paths and ways become very prosperous. If you need help in any area of your life, in finance, in spiritual growth and leadings, or even in marriage affairs, God will provide you a helper that'll sort you out of that difficult situation and make your path straight. The plans that God has for you are good and not evil, to give you an expected end. This is God's plan for you, and He will ensure that He brings all the helpers that you may need. He will bring people your way that lead to the fulfillment of your purpose and plans in life. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is always present with you in any situation or life circumstances in which you find yourself. This means that if you ever come across a situation where you've come to an end of all your strength and have no way to handle it, God will show up for you. And one big way that God shows up for you in situations like these is that He sends you helpers. God is telling you to just remain still. Whatever difficulty you're going through, don't feel frustrated or depressed with your life. Remember all He has in store for you and hold on to God who has kept you all this while. And as He's done it before, He will surely do it again. You're God's babe, His bride. It's time for you to relax and be taken care of.